Greetings, my friends. I'm Anadea Judith, and I'm the author of a brand new book called Goddess, Blessed Reunions with the Feminine Face of the Divine. And I'm conducting these goddess conversations with women who I know have been on the path, and some of the women have stories in the book. And today I am just delighted, over the moon, as you would say, Shamet, to be interviewing my friend from New Zealand, Shamet Horsfield, who is a sacred divine feminine leader. She's an author. She's a coach. She's a healer. She's a founder of the New Paradigm Priestess. She's an author and a speaker. And she has a story in the book and she has a story to tell and she's served the, the goddess just as I have. And so we're just going to have a conversation today. Welcome, Shamet. Oh, thank you. So wonderful to be here with you. So I'm going to start off asking how you found your way to the goddess and what difference did that make in your life? Well, the goddess found me, as you know, and it's made a huge difference in my life. Um, I, yeah, I had a very, very difficult childhood and, uh, very vulnerable to share my story in your book, Anadea. I have to say the goddess has taught me to be vulnerable that through our vulnerabilities, that is where we can really connect and people can understand because a lot of us have had intense lives and intense stories. And she really found me during a time that I really needed her. And um, it was it was a very, very, very uh, intense time when she came through. I wanted to go home and not this being my home, but I knew as a little girl, I knew that I came from somewhere else. I knew that I incarnated on this planet to be of service. And I had a deep knowing like that I was an old soul and that my earth family was not necessarily my family, but I have chosen to be with them to learn what I needed to learn. And I have certainly um, been learning so much about, about trauma, about trauma stacked on top of trauma and, and knowing that this is why I came here and not being a victim to having a troubled beginning, you know, and the reclamation and the celebration of all of it, you know, because, you know, this planet is full of duality, the good stuff and the not so enjoyable, heavy stuff. And so the goddess, you know, she came through uh, in a moment where I just wanted to go home. I had had enough. <laughs> I was like a little girl. I locked myself in the bathroom. I looked in the mirror and I was like, I just don't want to be here anymore. I just had so much pain. You know, my heart hurt. And I remember being where I had been before I came here it was full of love and compassion and kindness and, you know, of the goddess. And then she came through Anadea and she spoke to me and she said, you are here for a reason. You have chosen to be here. And just all this love, all this compassion, this connection, this kindness came through. And then it grounded me to the earth. It just, boom, I'm here. And I came back to my body and I found my strength again. And it, it was a pivotal moment for me. Um, I would have been Let's see, I was uh, about maybe 12 years old. So I was young and I hadn't known exactly the full picture of what that was going to entail, but that set me upon the path. And so how has that changed my life? It's changed everything. And you have been serving her ever since, you know, yes. and it's been a really fundamental part of your work and mine as well. Um, you know, for me, I uh, grew up with the God as male. I didn't even think to question it. But it, well, I did question. I said to my mother one time, Mommy, why is God a he? And what about all the women in the world and the girls? And she said, oh, honey, that means everybody. And so I just kind of accepted that. And, um, you know, the general pronoun being he, well, that means everybody. Mankind, well, that means everybody. But I didn't, didn't quite sit right. 
And then in ninth grade, in an ancient history class, I studied uh, Edith Hamilton's mythology. And I learned about gods and goddesses and realized I had not been told the whole picture. And it was an absolute revelation. And of course, I think I remember having past lives in Greece. So that really brought that to life. And I was just so hungry to study mythology and learn more. And um, I just continued doing that. And then in 1985, I was ordained as a priestess in the Church of All Worlds and served there for decades. And uh, here I am now writing a book about the goddess and speaking to you and bringing her alive once again and back home. So who is the goddess to you? I love your story, Anna Dea. It's so beautiful. Um, and, you know, fast forward, you know, a little bit like in my early 20s, seven women and I, we moved into a house in Portland and we called it the Goddess Palace. And we created a temple and we had these goddess circles. And, it, you know, so when you talk about your story, I had my version of that. <laughs> and so it's amazing. And so, sorry, what was the question? Oh, I was just saying, who is the goddess to you? Who is the goddess? The goddess is everything. And like you, you know, I wondered why uh, everything was God, you know, and everything was he. And where was the she? Where was the mother? And, um, you know, because of my childhood was quite intense, I got really into religion and I wanted to find answers. So I did go to the church. My family was not religious. I went on my own to find answers. And, you know, I would go three times a week. I went to many different churches. I sang in a choir called Something Higher in the prison systems. And like, I loved it. I actually really loved my path of religion until I got to a place where, well, where's the wom women? Where are the, you know, Mary and what what I this isn't making any sense to me <laughs> like there were so many things where I was like there's something missing there's more to the story here and you know the goddess to me is uh you know the the missing piece of the equation <laughs> a really important piece of the story that needs to be reclaimed needs to be talked about and so I am over the moon excited about your book and about this conversation because you know women are rising and we need to understand the connection of the feminine and 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 the rest of the story so thank you Anadea for your work I'm so excited about your book well, I have a quote in the book from Dion Fortune that says a religion without a goddess is halfway to atheism I love that I agree yeah. And so really we're cutting out half the Godhead, half of the divine. How can we give birth to a new age, to a new paradigm, if we don't have a goddess to give birth? It's the woman that gives birth. So when you cut women out of the picture, you can't birth anything new. And we just have too much death. And you see that going on in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been a really interesting journey, Anadea. You know, when I came out as a priestess, I put it out there and then I brought it back and I put it out there and then I brought it back. And because even on my YouTube channel to this day, I get these comments and the like attacks, not just from men, but from women too, that, oh, there is only one God, you know, like somehow it's this bad thing to say goddess. And it's very interesting how much, you know, um, oh, that's witchcraft or that's, you know, how much shame, blame, and so much is put on women. And I find it so sad. And so I always respond with love. I said, the goddess is love. The goddess is everything. God, goddess, the universe, like the goddess is the love. She's the nurturing. She's the mother. She's the one that gives birth. She's the one that holds you. You know, and yeah, the feminine energy, she is the femininity, the sacred divine feminine that we have, uh, you know, we're out of touch with and we so need to realign with that energy. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting that, um, you know, criticism and fear that comes through generations because at one time 
mentioning the goddess's name, you could be killed for that, just uttering her name back in the time of the goddess suppression. So that got, that went underground and it went through the generations and it still hangs in the air. And people don't even know why they're afraid of that. They don't even know what they're talking about. So it's really important to bring her back. And we know the goddess is cyclic and she never dies. She dies, but comes back to life, just like the plants die into the ground and they are reborn in the spring. We are having a resurgence of the goddess right now. And she is coming back from, you know, 2,000, 3,000 years of oppression and suppression, and she is being reborn anew in a new paradigm. Yes, I know. I love that. And, you know, even myself in my early 20s, I had a good friend say, oh, Shemette, you're a witch. And I was like, no, I'm not. And I got so defensive about it. I am a goddess. I am a goddess, not a witch, because I don't manipulate And so I had this story, you know, growing up in America, which is they manipulate, they're evil, they're, you know, like they're doing spells and they have warts and, you know, this whole thing. That was the story told about them. Yeah. And so, but what it actually is, is with, yeah, women in total control of herself, because it is us standing in our power and not ha- allowing men or the patriarchy to have control and power over us. And so what does the goddess mean? The goddess is us stepping into the beautiful uh, energy and power of being a woman. And that is important that we do that. I mean, think about it. We only got the right to vote 100 years ago. That's right. Right? So the ERA still, still, still has at least in the U.S., the ERA, Equal Rights Amendment, still has not been passed. And it was proposed about 100 years ago, but it still has not been passed, giving women equal rights to men. Well, right. Jeanette, I know Two we both have a call to be on very soon. And I know there's so much we could talk about about the goddess. And maybe we'll pick this up and talk a little longer. But I'm really delighted to speak with you today. And I know the goddess is smiling down on both of us and within our hearts. Thank you so much. Okay, see you soon. See you soon.